Hello guys and welcome to the NRC LEGO Cup Series race number 5. Again, I guess, because I said race 5 in Talladega, I meant race 4. But here we go, race 5 here in Michigan. Zachary Robinson, your winner at Talladega, is your pole sitter here, followed by... Lily Murphy. And then Henry Sanford, then Jack Warren, then Robert Pollard, Drew Austin, Zach Danford, Jake Williams, Tom Gerard, and James Shelley are your top ten. Let's get ready to get the command. I'll fire the engines here in Michigan. Here they are. Drivers, start your engines. Just like when we talk about the transporter. At the end of pit road, the last pit box is a timing line. So the last white line on pit exit is the line. Big thumbs up, my friend. Have a good time. There you go. Lily Murphy being talked by the crew chief of hers. And let's go racing. Tom Gerard looking for his third win of the season starting ninth today. Zachary Robinson, who is seventh in the points. He's looking for his second win. Back to back wins. He won last night or last week at Talladega. And it's a pretty cloudy day out, so we're gonna see some high, high speeds. Especially Henry Sanford's forty five car since it's hot wheels. Hot wheels. Beat that. Now, Henry uh, dropped out. Oh, no, man, no, he didn't. He's in ninth right now. But let's go! Green flag racing here in Michigan. Green, green, green. We've already seen some three-wide action I thought I just saw. Now, it's something that's annoying me right now on my screen. You guys can't see it. But it's a remove symbol. Or remove button that says, like, remove or delete. And it's stuck in the middle of my NR2003, so that's pretty gay. See, like we do right now, we see really high speeds, 219. Now we're gonna see some fast and quick speeds, like we just said. I don't know. Wow. Um. Anyway, lap one will be led by Zach Robinson, Zachary, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> there goes Henry Sanford to the inside. They are side by side for the lead. Going in the, going down the back stretch. Now, um, we'll show you your top ten. Tom Gerard, Stephen Pollard the third, Zach Warren, May Shelley, James Shelley, Lily Murphy, Zachary Robinson, Steve Pollard, Henry Sanford, and Ryan McLean are your top ten in points. We're side by side, and it's going to be Henry Sanford leading that lap. Pace car we don't want. We'll just find James Shelley. 223 miles an hour we just saw right there. Like we just said, Tom Gerard is trying to find his third win of the season. Now he, um, now the top 12, which is, well, adding Drew Austin. I think I said this wrong in the other video of the Oreo Nationwide. I think I said it wrong. I'm pretty sure I said the top 10 in the cup, in this cup series. It's going to be the top 12, so that is adding... Drew Austin and Ali Ann into the all-star race as of right now and we still have um, Martinsville and then Sonoma I had to switch it off to Richmond because it only fit 39 cars so unfortunate for that sad face right <laughs> and Henry Sanford is still out front we'll find Stephen Pollard the third your second place point standing driver and he's in last oh my god then we'll find Zach Warren in the 71. He is in... Oh, we have the crash right in front of us, and Cody Moore goes over! Cody Moore goes over. We're going to watch the race back to the line and show you what happened in just a moment. But now it's Henry Sanford out in front. Robert Pollard, where is he at in the points? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That was screwed right now. I, I don't have time. We're watching the race back to the line. And it is gonna be Henry Sanford, followed by Zachary Robinson. We'll show you what happened here. They made Cody Moore just go tumble, tumble, tumble. We'll be right back. And Kevin White is also in this. He has not had good luck. And we see another crash? Or is that just from the smoke from earlier? Oh, well, we'll bring it back. First caution of the day comes for Cody Moore and Kevin White. Just like last week, uh, last week I think. We'll be right back, though. Now... 
I don't quite see. Oh, Ke Cody didn't give him room and he spun himself out. Dakota Brandy doesn't get any damage. He just gets out of it. We're going to TV1. Or not TV2. Yeah, TV2 is good. Cody Moore takes one, two, tumbles, goes on his roof for a little bit for about 100 feet, riding the wall. And then finally comes back down. We'll fast forward a little bit faster. Then Kevin White just drives away and Cody's trying to get back too. I think he might be out of the race. If he comes back in this race, it'll be a miracle. So first caution of the day, and he does not come back. He's He did retire. So did Kevin White, I think. I don't know if he's going into the pits or or what, excuse me. But we will bring you back to the green flag here in Michigan as we get our first caution of the day. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So, um, let's bring you to the green flag here. And we did bring you that. And Kevin White is still on the truck. He just had to fix some damage, I believe. Yes, he did. Rear end damage. Green flag is out. Let's go back racing here in Michigan. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> now it is Henry Sanford still out in front. Zachary Robinson goes to the high side and gives Robert Pollard and Jack Warren those two spots. That, like we just said, Zach War or Zach Robinson is going to give up, and Henry Sanford is still out in front. After all, not leading lap one, he leads every other lap. But here comes Henry, Sa or excuse me, <laughs> Robert Pollard. They go side by side, and it was Pollard, I believe. And it was Henry. Wow. Let's watch the march of victory right here. Three thousandths that Henry beat him by, but that is irrelevant right now. That is not the finish, but that was the finish. That'd be crazy. Now Henry is still trying to hold the lead. As he die as he goes way up high and he will probably lose third or excuse me, second. And there's Drew Austin who's made eighteen points or eighteen positions in the points last race in Talladega. So he's looking to do it again and get more points. Now second place is twelve points back from uh Tom Girard, that is Stephen Paul at the third, so he's gonna have to finish twelve spots ahead of him. Um, that is finishing ahead of Tom Gerard, and you see him in the back of your screen. Who is, um, Stephen Paul the third, who is far, far back. And then Tom Gerard, he's, like, up here. He's 12th at the moment, so. It's going to be a bigger points lead. And we'll find Zach Warren if he, uh, Zach Warren, I don't think, is ahead of him either. Oh, he's in 20th. So, the point standings might still say, stay to Tom Gerard. We'll find out. Because there's still 18 laps to go here. Everyone comes down the back stretch. And guys who are drivers who are looking to get into the All Star race is Gene Sanford, who is tied with um, Drew Austin, I believe. Gene Sanford, let's find this right here. Oh, two points back. She is two points back from Drew Austin in the points right now. So she is probably, um, ho hopefully looking to get into the top 12 just in case she doesn't win the fan vote. And it's the top 12 and three of your fan votes. Three votes get you into the All-Star Race. And it's going to be three people, so nine votes will get three people into the All-Star Race. Now I'll put it in the description as well, just if you guys don't, if you guys don't understand it. But then there goes Henry Sanford to the bottom. Now we are three wide for the lead. We are three wide for the lead right now. As now it's Jack Warren out in front. Now Zach Warren. Zach Warren. Make sure I said that right. Not Jack if you guys heard me weird. Wow. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Wow. Fail. Oh my god. Um. Zach Warren. Zach Warren is in third right now with a win. And I believe he won in the Oreo Nationwide. I don't count me wrong on that. If that was Jack, I'm sorry. I think it was Zach though.
I believe it was Jack Warren or Zach Warren who won that race. And I said before he is the only driver to win in an, um in the na in our nationwide and cup series in the same season right now. But that'll change hopefully. Some of these drivers as um Tom Gerard is hopefully looking to win in the um Oreo Nationwide as he has two wins in the cup. And there's a fight for second right now. Um, in the points right now, Henry is looking to boost his position in the points. Trying to take um, possibly the points lead since he is ahead of Tom Girard by quite a bit. Never mind, he's in ninth. Not that far back. Now, it'd be crazy if Girard does win this race because it would bring him in the point standings far ahead. And there's no chase. So the second place driver, if they're far back, they're going to have to work their way up. Now most of these drivers, I think it's all the way back to 6th or something. They're all the way from Drew Austin. Oh, now it's more. <laughs> back to James Shelley. They're all single file. That's 7th. There goes Louie Murphy to the bottom of Robert Pollard. With no help though, so it probably won't work out. Twelve laps to go here. That lap car, or not that lap car, the um, the double zero. Kevin White doesn't seem much of a factor. Is he still up with the pace just a bit? But Jean Sanford doesn't look like she's gonna get her way into the All Star race right now, as um, Drew Austin is ahead of her. And we'll find Allianne in the 14. Where is she at? She's right here. So, depending on how their point standings are working out, they're probably not going to make it. So, sorry to them. They are a point from each other. They are within a point from each other. So, that means that if Jean finishes ahead of, um, of Allie Ann, she stays in front. So it's going to be, the point standings are going to be shaken up though, just like always. All, all the time the point standings are getting shaken up. It's going to be very interesting at the end of this uh, season, getting actually towards the end of the season, um, to see how the points standings uh, pan out. And still your leader, Jack Warren. And um, Patrick Warren, I don't think he's in this series though. Patrick Warren in the Nationwide has reached 100 points, which doesn't which doesn't really surprise us because um, they've raced six races. Um, LCS has raced five. But anyway, well, this is their fifth race, so yeah. Robert and these are the same leaders, and there's Jake Williams looking to be the no another driver who can win in uh, Oreo Nationwide and Lego Cup. Who's running fourth right now? Let's see where he is in the points. Where is he? 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 Oh, he's 41st, so this would really help him and bring him up possibly in the 20s. If he can get a good top five finish here. And that seven car, that seven team has worked really hard to get the, to get where they want to be. But they still just haven't gotten what they wanted yet. And that is just possibly a top five. Which they have not gotten. Nearly four points, unfortunately. Because how, how the point standings are in, uh, in my series. Um, the point standings is one point. Um, if you finish below the top 20, I think. And we might see four wide right here. If Drew Austin goes to the bottom, he will not. But he might if they give him the room. Do not want to go full wide right here. Now Robert Pollard is out in front. We're some see we're seeing some close and fun racing here. Now Drew Austin uh, has won a race in the uh, IndyCar series, which will be up soon. So hopefully um, you guys can get a little kick out of that too, as I'll have a Monster Energy Cup series up by then by this race. So go check that out. And there's Tom Gerard. 
your points leader and is looking to extend the points lead even more over Stephen Paul the third who is in second right now and he is far far back and cannot make a move to the front wow now I don't know if this might be shocking a lot of people but Tom Ferrari looks like he has a good possibility to win the championship he's definitely gonna make it to the all-star race as he probably will be um, a first driver in the Lego Cup Series to reach a hundred points if he can just stay up here in um, the top five now first and second have put a little bit of a gap on the rest of the pack so it's approach five laps to go here going into four laps to go is Robert Pollard and Jack Warren pretty much back and forth and still fight for the lead between the two <laughs> now I don't know if Jack is faster he's not so this should be pretty interesting to see the last few laps of this race and they're running single file halfway back to down the racetrack so it will be harder to pass here let's find your pole sitter um, Zachary Robinson. Fail, dude. What the heck? Oh, he's running back in 14th. That is not good. But now, third place has caught up to, um, um, first and second. Now they're real in a really tight, um, single file line. So it should be exciting here if Jake Williams can get a win and make the crazy move that a lot of these drivers wanted to make in any race. And there he goes to the inside, trying to get second. He has the momentum to do it. But that might give Robert Pollard the lead, so a bad idea and bad timing to do it. But Lily Murphy goes to the bottom of Jake Williams, trying to go for third. But now they have put a little bit of a gap on them again. Now here we go. White flag is out. One to go here in Michigan. Who's it going to be? Now, Pollard is running faster. So we don't know if it's going to be all Pollard the rest of the way. But it looks like it right now. But Jake Williams is going to get a good finish. And we're coming out of turn number four. It's all Robert Pollard right now. And he's going to win here in Michigan. So the whole pack. Coming back. We'll find Stephen Pollard finish 30 seconds so that will like we just said boost the point standings and move it around crazy good so we'll get you to official standings right here we'll do it pretty quick you guys can pause it if you need to let me export this all right and we'll see you guys in Martinsville the paper clip I don't know what else to call it but Michigan is over with, and we'll see you guys in Martinsville. Thank you guys for watching.